Coach Amelia and I'm going to do part two of our stretching series. We're gonna do bridges this time. So I know it's probably been a while since you guys have done bridges, so we're gonna start super slow and transition into the bridges easily. So the first thing that we're going to do is a cat stretch. So when we go into the cat stretch, instead of sitting on our heels and putting your hands out, you wanna walk your hands out and try to get your bum up in the air. And if you want, try to put your chin on the floor. You'll feel the stretch across your back and in your shoulders. If you're very flexible, you can also move over to a mat. If you don't have a mat, you can do it on the edge of a couch, your coffee table, um, your kitchen counters, anything that's up high. You can put your elbows on the mat and put your hands together and try to let your chest and your head drop through your elbows and hold it. Um, try to aim for about 30 seconds for these stretches, whatever you're comfortable with. If you can only do 10 seconds and take a break, you can go back into it, that's fine as well. Another shoulder stretch is by putting your hands together and making a basket and trying to lift up high. Again, if you're super flexible, you can stand in a straddle and let your chest drop and try to get your hands over your head as far as you can. Like the other flexibility video, please don't judge my flexibility. That should be a goal that you should do this so you can do it better than me. Um, after that, when you get our shoulders warmed up, we're gonna move on to a table. So getting into your table and pushing up high, trying to lift your hips up high off the ground. Once you're here, you can kind of get your body warmed up by rocking back and forth. You can lift a leg nice and tight and pointed. You can lift an arm. You can also high five your foot. And then you'll be nice and ready to move on to bridges. So I'm gonna show the bridge portion of this video. Um, I'm gonna have Amelia do the talking just cause I'm going upside down. So it might be a little bit clearer for you guys to hear. So starting with back bend drill, you could go up against the wall and walk your hands as far down as the wall as you're comfortable. And then when you're at a good spot, walk your hands back up, trying to keep your arms by your ears. If that seems a little too much, you can go on your knees. That way you're not as far away from the ground and do the same drill, walking your hands down, holding it at a good spot, and then walking your hands back up. Another exercise you can do for your bridge is to find the edge of a higher surface, like your couch or your bed, and push up to your bridge and try to hold it for about five seconds or 10 seconds, and then you can come down and repeat it five times. A couple other things you guys can do to help your bridge is you can try to walk your feet and hands close together and see if you can hold that. Um, once your shoulders are over your wrists, you can straighten out your legs, try to squeeze your legs together. Uh, you guys can also try like some kicks, do some kicks on each leg or hold your leg up, make sure it's nice and straight with your toes pointed. Make sure after doing all of your bridge stretches that you rock and roll your back, just the current stretch it the other way, rock and roll a few times. Along with that, you guys can lay down and do a crossover stretch. So I'm bringing my right foot to my right hand. And then same on the other side, left foot to your right hand, just to kind of get a good stretch in your lower back. After this video, we're gonna come out with one more video. We're gonna do some animal movements, so stay tuned for that.